This is the beginning of a plague of sorts for this particular tree. It's got lovely leaves, very healthy. But these are the, if you will, tent caterpillars. They're very small at the moment, you can barely see them. And they're slowly taking over this tree. Here's another lot right there. And they're eating the leaves. You see, the, there's one right there. Let's see if I can zoom in. There. So that is one of the tent caterpillars. And he goes in there so no bird can eat him. And they will tent up and eat just about this whole tree. Here's more of them down here. And what they do is they eat the leaves. You can see right there, they're all out creating their tent and eating their leaves. This whole tree, it has lots of leaves, but within weeks, this whole tree, all of these leaves here, all these leaves here, all these leaves here will be covered in tents and these caterpillars will eat every leaf on this tree and it will be covered in a tent the trunk and everything and then they will pupate into um, pupae all over the tree trunk in a they will have a tent that here you can see the leftovers of last year this is the leftover of last year's tent and they pupated under underneath this tent so again the butterflies and everything couldn't eat them. And then they turned into these tiny little moths. And they were, they're a great food source for bats. So this tree we treat with a lot of care. And it leaves out in spring, as you see here. It'll get eaten. And then it'll re-leaf again after all these caterpillars have had a feast on all of its leaves. You can see this is, it's a split trunk. So those are both the same tree. And you can see a bit of the tent from last year. So this tree will be completely devoured. Give it a few weeks. This is last year's tent. You can kind of see. It's a, a, a silk that they wrap themselves in for protection. But when the adult butterflies, moths come out, sorry, moths, not butterflies, uh, then all the bats in the area have a feast. And it's when they're young are really hungry and learning how to fly. So this tree is frightfully important for the po bat population in the area. So I'll come back in a week or so and all these leaves will have been devoured and the tree will be covered in a tent. All those branches will, and it'll look like it's dead, but it's not. It's basically creating bat food. So one has to remember the cycle of life before one kills a, what seems to be a pest for a tree. You're actually doing in food for another very important species of animal.